Tesla invested 1.5 billion. That's right. That's with a B, guys. Billy billion dollars in Bitcoin and is set to accept it for payments in the future. As you guys can see on every news outlet today, everything has to do with Elon Musk and Tesla. Guys, we're now officially flying past the moon and heading straight for Mars. Bitcoin is now officially up in the last 12 months, 354%. And it is currently up 49% year to date, guys. So for those who were saying that it was too late to get into Bitcoin, if you would have put your money into Bitcoin on January 1st, you'd currently be up 49%. Where else do you get a return on your investment of 49% in under two months? So how soon can Bitcoin realistically hit 50K? Is now a good time to buy Bitcoin? What are the next trades that we're looking to get into this week? Guys, this will all be answered and more coming up. Hey, what's up? Jay here and welcome to Bitcoin Daily, bringing you guys the best tips, tutorials and ideas to help you become profitable and successful traders. The goal of this channel is to empower you guys with the knowledge and resources to help you guys get to that next level. So if you're new here, guys, consider subscribing. Also, make sure to hit the like button and turn on that notification bell so you guys are notified as soon as we post new content five times a week. The first thing that we're talking about today is Tesla, of course, and Elon Musk. So Tesla invested $1.5 billion in Bitcoin and is now set to accept it for payments in the future. That's right, guys. So that means that you can literally take your Bitcoin to Tesla and buy a Tesla car with your Bitcoin. Not right now, but very, very soon. So no more Lambos, it's now Tesla. So once Tesla accepts Bitcoin as form of payment, it is expected to increase the demand for Bitcoin to new heights that affects the market price directly. In an SEC filing on Monday, Tesla announced that it invested $1.5 billion in Bitcoin, guys. The mega tech and automobile company also revealed that it intends to accept Bitcoins as a form of payment in the near future. So you see here in their official statement that they said that they bought 1.5 billion in Bitcoin under the policy and that they may acquire and hold digital assets from time to time or long term. Then they went on to say that we expect to begin accepting Bitcoin as a form of payment for our products in the near future. So as you guys know, over the weekend, Elon has been talking and tweeting about Doge, posting memes um, and just kind of, you know, putting who let the Doge out, HODL in the rainforest. The people have spoken. They had a poll of the future currency of Earth and 71% of the people voted Dogecoin versus all the other crypto combined. Then last night he put D is for Dogecoin instructional video. So he posted this video about Dogecoin. And then finally he put back to work I go. So this definitely played in as a big part of this pump here in Doge over the weekend. As you guys can see, it continued up after it had kind of this little bear flag here, as you guys can see that was going on in Doge. Then a few PR tweets from Elon Musk and Doge continued up to a high of about, what was the high here? Eight, zero point, I mean, point zero eight cents. So it was eight cents, right? Of course, when the news came out that Tesla invested in Bitcoin, Bitcoin's price took off. So over the weekend, we kind of had, you know, a chill out period here as we kind of went down, uh, forming that bull flag. And then uh, once that news came out, pumped to new all time highs at 45 K. So it is now being reported that other companies are expected to follow the same path as Tesla in the near future, guys. As you guys can see, my hometown of Miami is also drafting a resolution to put Bitcoin on the public balance sheet, which would be amazing. And also some rumblings about Apple could be the next company to buy Bitcoin. Now, where would that take Bitcoin? Definitely past 50K. 
So let's go over a brief timeline of events that led to Elon Musk and Bitcoin. So December 20th of last year, Michael Saylor offers uh, Elon Musk his Bitcoin playbook in a tweet. December 30th, Silbert, former Grayscale CEO, tweeted at him, I see you. At some point in January of this year is when Tesla invested its $1.5 billion in Bitcoin. We don't know the exact date or the exact price that they got in at. On January 9th, Silbert also tweeted, Twitter is going to absolutely lose its mind when Elon and Tesla disclose Bitcoin holdings. And of course, on January 29th is when Elon Musk added hashtag Bitcoin to his Twitter bio. So that might be around the time where Tesla bought the 1.5 billion so hopefully you guys were not trying to short this market as i've told you many times as 365 million dollars worth of shorts got liquidated within one hour this morning so looking at some of the other companies in in this space if any of these companies with a, a whole lot of cash holdings decide to also get into bitcoin guys guys this will take bitcoin just out of here all right guys i know that's a lot of information it's been a crazy crazy monday guys let's do a recap of the friday's trades over the weekend right so the first trade that i gave you guys on friday was that thirty-eight thousand breakout trade right which was right here so i told you guys there could be some consolidation in the area but if you were able to take this trade and took it all the way up First of all, it went all the way up to 40, 41,000 first um, before testing this 38K range again. And then you would have been able to enter that 38K breakout yet again and ride it all the way up. So if you guys rolled this from 38K all the way to the new all time highs of 45K, guys, that would have been 184% profit if you use 10x leverage like we did. If instead you opted to enter at $40,000, guys, and rode it all the way up to 45K, guys, you would have done around 125% profits using 10x. In Ethereum, I told you guys that our favorite trade here, if we had a pullback, was to enter back at 1500, right? And guys, look exactly where it went. It went down to 1500, of course. Of course, guys. So if you guys were able to enter at 1500, guys, and rode it all the way back up, let's just say to 1700, in case you didn't sell at the top, you just rode it to 1700, you would have made 75% profits using 5X leverage. If you wrote it from 16 to 1700, you would have done 31% profits. If you wrote it, let's say from 17 to 7, 8, 1780, you would have done about 23 and a half percent profits. And if you just wrote 1750, which is was the previous all time high, just this new all time high is 1780, you would have done about eight and a half percent profits. So guys, I hope you caught any of these trades. We gave you guys a bunch of different options to enter guys if you entered any of these you should have made some very very good profits over this weekend alrighty guys so we went ahead and moved up our Fibonacci retracement levels all the way to the new all-time highs and we're gonna look for the next possible points of interest levels in Bitcoin this week right so the first thing that we're looking at uh, when we when we move the Fibonacci level all the way up to the new highs up here is that now the retracement level of 23.6% is right on that $40,000 mark, right? So that is going to be the big level. If we see some sort of retracement, this is going to be a buy area right down here, that 40,000 area, because now it's one, a Fibonacci retracement level. And number two, it's a huge whole number. So that 40,000, a whole lot of zeros. We spoke about this last week. People are going to be coming in to buy more on that dip if we were to dip back down, right? Now, the other possible support that we can be seeing buyers coming in is at the previous all time high, which is right at that 42K level. So that's another level that we're watching, guys. You can see currently we're right, we're almost at 43, right around that 43 range. So if we can continue down uh, further than what we've seen here, which could be expected as we're in currently pretty oversold here on the four hour. 
and I'm sure if we look at the dailies, we're getting into oversold territory and on the weekly, we're already in oversold territory. So if we see, you know, kind of the usual bull flags, that would mean that the pattern would be something like this and we can expect to probably get a bounce maybe around that 42K range. Now, if that doesn't happen, then we can maybe expect a you know consolidation back down to 40k and looking and look for a bounce there at the $40,000 range. Now, what do I expect from Bitcoin if it continues up if we break 45? Guys, 45 is a very very big number. It's right in the middle between 40 and 50. So that's why it was obvious that that would be a big rejection zone, right? So that's going to play definitely a big resistance zone there but once we break above out and above 45k the next the next stop is 50k right um there's really nothing holding us back at that point of course every whole number is going to be a little bit of resistance so we can expect you know 46 47 48 49 to play small resistant roles but not anything major so a break of 45 i would say that's probably the last major resistance just because it's such a whole number such an even number and it's right smack in the middle right before 50 so that's going to be the last major resistance that i think that we should see before launching straight to 50k right so 50k is going to be that next big number you know and i definitely think that we can get there this month if everything keeps going the way it is right now right we can definitely expect some consolidation now here at these current levels before moving up again so expect another sort of bull flag forming here before we do a continuation up which should lead to 50k in ethereum we're still watching these same levels guys remember we spoke about our target being that 1920 range currently where we have a new high of a 1780 currently we're trading right around that 1700 range which is that previous resistance as well we went all the way down and tested the support which is a good thing for this run you need you need to have pullbacks like this so that then you could bounce and go up higher right so we had a a nice nice bounce here now we're going we're retesting this area and i expect some more consolidation before a breakout to the upside also remember that when bitcoin is moving a lot when it has uh impulse moves like it did today it takes uh money out of the rest of the market because people are coming out of ethereum and putting their money into bitcoin to ride that wave up as bitcoin begins to consolidate here some of that money should flow out back out of bitcoin and into ethereum which should cause ethereum to break the previous highs right here and you know hit not only our target of 1920 but our other target of 2000 which is going to be that big big number for ethereum if we do see some sort of pullback i'm expecting to see it back to this range which is that 1500 dollars range of course we have supports at each even number like you know 1700 1600 all the way down to 1500 1500 being the strongest one out of the bunch guys i hope you guys are enjoying this video so far next we're gonna hit you guys with those trade setups for this upcoming week with the exact positions that we're looking to enter if you're finding value in this video so far make sure to hit that subscribe button make sure to smash that thumbs up up button guys and also don't forget to turn on those notifications and share this video with your friends and family so to make sure that they have the knowledge as well to properly invest in not only bitcoin but in their future all right so the first trade setups that we're going to be watching in bitcoin it's going to be back at this uh 42k area right so at 42k here last time we saw that that played our resistance which rejected us rejected us back down to our lows down here right so i'm looking for a possible bounce at 42,000. currently is at 42,700. if we continue down i'm looking for an entry right around that 42k range now remember it is a minor support i wouldn't say it's a major one so i'm not putting i'm not risking a lot on that uh, and of course we're not looking to catch the price as it goes down we're looking to catch it as it bounces back 
Uh, if it continues down below that, then the next entry we're looking for is $40,000. That's going to be our biggest support that we're watching and looking for an entry on that. We'd probably be risking more around that 3% range on that trade. If we do see a breakout here this week, then the range that we're looking at is of course above $45,000 guys. Again, if we see a breakout above 45, I believe that we can possibly see 50 by the end of the month. We might possibly see a movement up to like that 48 range, some consolidation back down and then continuation up to 50 where we're going to see definitely a whole lot of price action. We could see possibly a big rejection there at that mark as a lot of people I would imagine are going to be looking to take profits at $50,000. Remember guys, 50 is a huge number when it comes to human psychology and market psychology. So there's going to be a whole lot of selling going on at that point. And I imagine price will probably get rejected several times before we're able to break out and continue up. We would need a big catalyst to break through 50 K. So another major news event like today's Tesla news, is what would be needed to launch right through 50K and continue up on our way to $100,000 in 2021. So on this trade, I'm looking to risk probably around 3% as well on a breakout. In Ethereum guys, we're kind of around the same levels as Friday, right? So we're looking for entries right here on this 1700 range. Now the thing with the 1700, there's a whole lot of consolidation as you guys can see happened here. Um, so 1700, I'm only risking about 1% on this trade, right? If we continue lower then another 1% trade can be taken at 1600. And if we get to 1500, then that's where I'm starting to look to open up my risk a little bit more and to risk, uh, around 3% on that trade. Now, if we do get a breakout above all time highs, um, I'm looking for an entry probably above 1780. If you want to be a little bit safer, you could do 1800 above that on those entries. I'll probably be looking to to risk about 3% of my portfolio as well on a breakout trade to that upside above all time highs in Ethereum. And that is pretty much it, guys. Uh, we covered everything that we wanted to talk about that happened over the weekend and the big, big news of this morning. Then we covered our analysis on both Bitcoin and Ethereum and ended it with, of course, some trade setups that we're watching for the rest of this week to hopefully make not only ourselves some profits, but we want to make you guys, our beautiful, beautiful community, some profits as well. If you enjoyed the video, guys, make sure to hit that subscribe. Make sure to put a thumbs up on this video. It helps us to continue to expand our reach and our audience and continue to spread that mass adoption of cryptocurrency and that knowledge as well. Thank you guys so much. I will see you in tomorrow's video. Have a beautiful, beautiful day. As always, peace and love.